Yes, or anyone can become a tantric. Uh, but realize that if you have a mind that is very dense, um, the, your path will be longer. I guess what I'm trying to say is that Tantra historically is a system which can make even a monkey a human being. In fact, you can, you, know, you can find some incredibly crude people who became accomplished tantric practitioners. Um, but modern series are not really interested in people like that. We are interested in people who are already close to their raw, direct nature. And uh, the profession they have, or education they have, or mental capacities they have, is irrelevant to becoming a tantric. So, um, it's the rawness of experience, you know, if you go and look in the, you know, 64 Mahasiddha um, literature, these are the early Buddhists, you know, at that time they were not really Buddhists, they were basically tantrics, uh, tantric adepts. You will find people, you know, there was a cobbler, and there was an intellectual, there was a, a dog breeder, uh, they were all from different professions, but they all were very close to their tantric nature. And that is more important. So you can have an uneducated person who is a tantric, and an educated person who is a tantric. You can have a person who is uh, um, very rich and very poor. It's, you know, in terms of your social stature, in terms of the stature which is in the tonal, means in a, in a non-Vajra world, in the world of the inter, you know, of the ego, uh, you know, the reputation there is irrelevant to your reputation as a tantric. You know, so so you can be anything and be a tantric. But at the same time, uh, a tantric is someone who is very close to God. Mm -hmm.